Your Palico buddies in Monster Hunter Rise and now Sunbreak are extremely useful to have on hunts with you. They can inflict statuses for you like Sleep or Paralysis. They can use moves to inflict elemental blights like Thunder Blight that gives you essentially free KOs in your hunt, even if you're using a slashing weapon, or even buff your whole party with extra attack and affinity. But to get them to be the most useful they could be in base rise, you needed to rely on a lot of RNG when hiring them. Well now in Sunbreak you no longer need to pray to the RNG gods, you can customise them to your heart content once you've done these quests. So in this one we're going to go over how you can do this. Make sure to support us by clicking like if you did enjoy this video and subscribing for all the other Sunbreak videos on the channel. Let us know in the comments do you prefer to take a Palico or Palamute out in your hunts with you? And we'll start off by talking about the new swap support move function. I've seen some people commenting on a horrible bug where selecting one of the new secret support moves for your Palico has changed their normal support moves to random ones. This means that your hours of RNG luck grinding for the perfect palico was all wasted. Well worry not because within the game as you progress through the master ranks you will actually unlock quests from Nagi the buddy agent to swap your level 5, 10 and 15 support moves for your palico. This means once you've done these quests which are quite easy to complete such as getting a Hermitor and Cenotaur Hardclaw, slaying 8 master rank Rachnoids in the lava caverns and getting 2 Rajang wild pelts you can actually customise the support moves of your Palico to whatever you want in the selection that's available. So if a patch isn't introduced that fixes your Palicos, worry not because you should be able to customise them and fix them yourself once you've done those quests. Do note you of course can't change the first and last support move of your Palico as they are tied to the class of that Palico, but the ones in between which were previously the RNG reliant ones are now customizable. This essentially means that you're going to save a lot of time, hassle and stress on repeatedly grinding the RNG elements of these support moves. You can instead easily slot in your favorite skills that you personally like to have on your hunts, or the ones that I recommend which include the Shock Tripper, which is fantastic for all monsters including elders because it inflicts Thunder Blight, which once you attack the head a few times triggers a free KO even if you're using a slashing weapon. I like this over Shock Trap now because it works on Elder Dragons, whereas the Shock Trap doesn't. I love the Power Drum as well because it buffs your whole team, and I also love Go Fight Win because I use a lot of dual blades, so I love it for the extra stamina buff that it gives you. So once you've done those quests, you could really mix up your Palico, try out the moves and see what works best for you in your hunts. This is an invaluable quality of life feature that they've added into Sunbreak, and I really couldn't be happier that they've added this in. There's also the Buddy Skill Lesson. At around Master Rank 4, you unlock the Buddy Commitment side quest from Nagi the Buddy Agent. This will require you to use three Eureka Corns on three buddies to max out their memory slots to a maximum of eight. These Corns are a new feature added in Sunbreak that lets your buddies equip more memory slots at the same time. If you're just starting out, it might be annoying collecting nine of these to complete this quest, but it happens naturally as you progress through the game so it shouldn't be too bad. You can get these from the new Kahoot Nest as well as some shiny nodes in the Meow Scenarios, but do put in the comments if you know of any other ways to get them. Once you complete this quest you will unlock the Buddy Skill Lesson. Much like the Swap Support move, this lets you change your buddy's memory skills with ones that your other buddies have already unlocked. Be careful when swapping though because once you've removed it, the old one will not be recoverable. But if you have a lot of buddies and you've been leveling them up throughout your playthrough, you should have a lot of buddy memory moves already unlocked and ready to go. Personally, I found that having status attack up is a fantastic must-have option on your buddies. If you plan to bring a status weapon, which I highly recommend, then this will just mean that they inflict it easier and faster, so it's a no-brainer there. But there's a new skill called the Support Centric. This makes it easier to trigger support moves and Palamute gear, but lowers their attack and defense. In my experience, my buddies dying has never been a problem, but using their support moves or my Palamute's gear faster and more often is a huge bonus to have. So these two together are must-haves in my opinion. Outside of that, use what you fancy, Buddy Part Breaker, Knockout King, maybe Attack or Crit Up, or the new melee centric or range centric moves might be perfect depending on the weapon that you're using for your buddy. So with this unlocked you can really make a lot of customization to your buddy to make it perfect for you and your particular build. All of these features together means we can pick their buddy support moves 
their memory moves, the new secret support move that's an extra thing on top, and we can get rid of the old RNG grinding method. We have another video going over these secret support moves, if you want to check that one out it's already on the channel. But make sure to drop a like to support the video and subscribe for all the other videos for Sunbreak that we have for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of these new features, I personally am so happy about it because RNG grinding for the perfect buddy was super annoying. The videos on screen now we think will be perfect for you, so why not click them, check them out, then let us know what you think of them in the comments down below.